Okay, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are getting the cows in to, to separate cows and see can we help uh, with breeding. So we are uh, about five weeks into breeding, so we are a small bit late in doing this job. But, um, yeah, the bull has out, of, out I think he is 20. Uh, he has more or less 10 of them both, 9 or 10 both, so it's nearly, we're nearly finished breeding. The bull is only out 5 weeks, we kind of will go for 8 weeks. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going on holidays uh, next week, so there won't be videos for then. Um, so yeah, this will be the last video for a week or two. Uh, so yeah, when we come back from holidays, he'll be taking out the bull. So yeah, we'll play some music and I'll talk to you later on in the video. Okay, so that's the cows in. Now we are going to uh, uh, put them into the shed to wait for the others. Uh, yes, so that's them into the slatted shed. And we are dosing the cows. So we have a mixture of Charlie's, Limousins, Stabilizers and Smentrals all in this video. So... That's only cows, there's a whole variety of cows as well. So yeah, if you want to see variety, <laughs> watch us. Um, yes, it's the blazer bull and the spring herd is in and one, two autumn calves. Uh, so yeah, uh, the two autumn calves, one 
it didn't go back in calf it was that pure but it's never seen. and the other jumped the wire i think yes yeah it was that one that jumped the wire yeah uh she jumped the wire and she left the calf behind her and we just had to let them all run that's actually the calf with the yolk on its side so yeah that is so we have to separate them and yeah so we're giving the calves uh an injection and pour on um so yeah i'm just watching making sure the calves don't go under the bar so yeah this is like the job it leaves and then we're putting tail paint on the cows uh to help with breeding to see if the bull is rising on them this paint is telltale they call it it's from over in new zealand to actually make it so it must be good if all the new zealand sets are, are using it uh yeah uh that's just so when the bull rises on the cows uh it'll just rub off and we we'll, because we we'll look at them every day and we'll know which is a bull in and we can put them into herd watch and we'll half know when they're gonna calve in the spring so it's just half better management i don't know what you call it really but yeah uh these are all running with the stabilizer bull uh yeah this works because you're watching this on if you watch this the day it went out which is saturday uh we did it last saturday so yeah and one cow has come a bull and since and it worked perfectly and there's another cow uh coming out of bull in now the state the one with the stabilizer calf uh so yeah not even a month is that what turns out when you don't have to pull calves i know she is a cemento there is the stabilizer bull don't have to put tail paint on him uh and uh, yeah he's keeping his condition real nice uh it's a stabilizer thing and docility he is a real quiet bull but you always stay beside a fence or stay in between or like a few cows apart and all yeah so yeah we're they're going up the crush and they don't really need to go into this head gates go and get whatever you want to call it um so yeah we have actually the last calf there is a cemental calf a bull calf a pure bizet. there's no point in registering them if you don't lead them so yeah he's not registered and then the rest all are Charlies, I think. Let me see when I turn around the camera. So all this video is actually on my head. So yeah. Um we have loads of grass for them and we're after taking out a fence just to make sure my granddad doesn't have to move them a whole lot while we're gone and when we come back the bull will be taken out and that will leave us with an eight week calving period and loads of these will still have blue paint on them when the bull comes out because uh because what i was gonna say uh, oh yeah because he has half of the bull anyways so he really do, don't really need to be put on but st still uh he has about 10 out of the 20 bolt could be more so yeah they're the shirley cows and the cows are just coming over to well, one of them is a heifer but coming over just to make sure the cows are okay but if it stops the cows from dying they won't mind the little injection so yeah you can actually see there's a calf there with lice so yeah that's what we're doing there pour on for uh yeah and we have ordered missing tags just in case you're wondering if you see a cow with no tag i have walked the whole farm looking at cattle with a phone in my hand ordering the tags as i go on herd watch that's why herd watch is really handy 
and I don't get sponsored to say that or anything, just it is. So, yeah, um, we do use a lot of tail paint on cows and it's very handy and it lasts a long time actually, but there's cows uh, in there as well and these are going out onto a fresh paddock of grass. Well, the workers between a whole load of paddocks just cleaning out because during the hot spell it kind of came at the wrong time that everything went to seed or it went to head so they're all sent and me and my dad were hopping with the mower and the tractor uh, I didn't get any video of that but I want to get a video of topping with the topper and there will be loads more videos really exciting videos coming up uh, over the t over time so yeah stay tuned and there won't be a video for another for two weeks because of me going on holidays but there'll still be videos so we're letting them out into this paddock with a big wide open gap that's why i turned on the turned off the fence uh so yeah uh it's just handy you turn off the fence while you're doing it because you have to tie a back along. The cows don't be long before they see the gap open and they're coming straight for you looking for the grass. Um yeah and there's two short run cows that we bought from Kerry and I don't know where they were but they keep looing at us the whole time even when they're on a new a, a new spot of grass. Actually you know what did we buy video back maybe even a year ago now. So yeah, um, we also have twin heifers. They were twin heifers. They're both running with the bull, but neither of them, the bull hasn't risen on neither of them. So far we can see. Does that make a difference? We thought it was only with the bulls that it makes a difference, like a bull and a heifer, but maybe it doesn't. Drop your, or put your suggestion does it or does it not matter in the comments below so that's all the cows and cows walking out across so there's 20 cows and if there's 34 there's 20 cows and 14 maybe 14 calves and one bull so yeah 35 in total so they won't be long peeled out a paddock so yeah so what's left in here is yeah Sorry. Uh, one minute. it's an awesome cow for the broke out with the bull this one she didn't go in calf in the autumn so we let her run again and we think she's bulled uh this is the lad with the oak on the side that's healing up okay and that's the one's calf that's a pedigree limousine bull if anybody wants one for good money. So we have moved on to this part of the video. We are tagging the stabilizer calves. They're about two weeks old. Not even. They're, one was 18 days and one was, um, one was 14 days and one was 11 days. Um, old so we're doing that and we're dosing them um yes that calf got out under the gate uh yeah we normally tag them when we're dehorning them and they're normally ready uh well we we don't tag them when we dehorn them we kind of, we tag them we tag them kind of get them in and tag them and check for horns but no need to check for horns with the stabilizers because they don't have horns they're pulled so one because that helps us we really like that um so yeah we're me and my dad were just doing the bvd sample and we are yeah i have tail paint on the two cows and i'm getting the second pair of tags for the other one these are two bull calves 
really nice ball of cows. Uh, one's a three star, but the mother's actually a two star, and the father's. Is the father a four star or a five star? He's an AI ball. And the other one is a four star out of a five star or four star cow. I don't know. We're in Skep, anyways, and our reference number is 20, but we have more than that. And we have 21 four and five star cows. So, really, we only have only a few eligible, really. So, we want the bull to do a little, put everything in calf. And I hope them two twins actually aren't the four and five star ones if they don't go in calf. So, yeah, uh, them two twin heifers. Uh, so, yeah, we're tagging them. I were tagging them, we're injecting them, uh, and we're put. Are we putting porn on them? I I can't remember. Um, uh, these have the white tags, the ID tag, and it's just a standard tag at the back, and then that you have to have my hand is the tiger. My dad was checking for horns. He. Not overly confident that they don't have horns, but uh, yeah, and then this one is the BVD sample, so that goes into the ear. I have loads of hair on my trousers because, yeah, and I, actually, somebody was asking me in the comments, Massey Man 3690, is that you? Um, and they asked me where did I get it, and I got. Where did I get them? I got them in at loan. So, yeah, in the shop at that loan. I can't remember the name and I don't even know. Okay, so these two cows are tail fences. So, yeah. And we the two the cows samples. have tags in their so, ears. Yeah. So, yeah. Now I just have to register the calves. So, so we're letting the two cows and two calves back out. We're not actually running them with the bull now. They're going to, well, they're out with the bull now, but... They're going out, same as the time we did this, uh, they're going out there be, and the cows are actually going to go into their paddock because there's loads of grass and they'll collect them there and they'll bring them off with them. So yeah, they'll all be doing the rotation then. Um, yeah, this paddock where we talked it. And it was so like we are here with like, so, our yeah. cows. Um, we're here with our cold cows. There's a meant to be three, but there's only two because uh, he decided he wanted to breed off another one. So, yeah, uh, these are the stores. Uh, the, they're all heifers. Uh, what? Well, that's not her calf. What? Well, it's the other one. <laughs> so yeah, that's all of them out. Uh, hopefully they don't go through a fence. Uh, they'll go through a fence. Uh, but yeah, so that's him out. So if you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of today's video. Uh, okay, so stay farming. Good luck.